Okay. It's like serious. Okay, so we have on news.com.au, bodybuilder leaves girlfriend in coma after horror void rage attack. People ask me for my comments and criticisms. Uh, so this is uh, in the Fox studio. Let's have a listen here. What go what went on here? With multiple knives. The attack, much too graphic at times to show. He's got the knife in his hand oh, there. Ooh. Is that vegan gains? Striking her multiple times. For 40 minutes, the video shows Bocce punching, kicking, throwing lit candles at her repeatedly, and worse. Stabbing her multiple times. Leaving the room at times, washing the knives before coming back to attack. He's opening the drawer, grabbing another knife. Little, if any words are exchanged, just rage. She's just laying there. You can see she's, yeah, not, she's fighting. not fighting back moving at all no. she survives but barely in a coma for days bashi arrested after neighbors find christina on the porch and call police charging him with assault with intent to murder this video as awful as it is thank god we have it evidence that is hard to argue at least you would think during his arraignment an unlikely witness takes the stand for his defense christina told the judge wanted to dismiss the charges um, wanted the defendant out of jail and, and told the judge that, that it was her fault that this happened. After being beaten and stabbed inches from death, she wants the case thrown out. Prosecutor Eric Smith says it happens in more than half of the domestic violence cases that end up on his desk. Our office handles about 2,500 cases of domestic violence a year. And of those cases, nearly 60% of the victims either recant their story in the court or don't show up to the court at all. He says whatever the reasons given, the law allows his office to move forward with charges. The defendant puts pressure on the victim to dismiss the charges. Well, we are the only ones that can dismiss the charges, so we don't do it. And he's willing to talk about this case because of how clearly it illustrates what can happen in these situations. If you see someone going through this and you think someone's going through this, even if they say they're not, because th th they are afraid to come forward in any way, shape, or form. And it's a difficult thing to do, but you, you got to put yourself in there and help. He comes back multiple times with multiple. So this is interesting here. So the, this is Fox Detroit. There's a camera in the house. I'm not sure how there was a camera in the house, but it was good because if this wasn't caught on camera, um, he's texting on his phone. So it, it's, you know, so this is the person. Uh, he had, uh, found, they found cocaine, marijuana, meth, ecstasy, and the substance that contains human growth hormone. But they're blaming this on steroids. His uh, lawyer is claiming that he shouldn't be prosecuted because it was the steroids' fault. Uh, we go to another website here. Uh, we have how to get rid of this click up buttons. So this is alleged attempt murder. So the, the girl who got bashed once. Um, the police to drop the charges so this is the girl here she's got the lip injections and so just a standard 22 year old instagram girl following the trends and she said it was her fault which i disagree with but you know it's it is crazy so this guy almost killed her and she's blaming herself and says that you know he loves her <laughs> i'll tell you what's ready mate anyone anyone lays a hand on you like that they don't, they don't really care about you at all um Two dozen stabs, 100 kicks, 50 punches, two dozen stabs. So it, again, it was a, it was an expression of passionate love. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, a chair broken and two lot of candles thrown at her. I mean, how, how she didn't die, I don't know. Um, so this guy, this this gorilla, or uh, meathead, I shouldn't call him a gorilla, I should call him Mr. Meathead Mongrel, uh, has a lawyer, an attorney, Attributed to his client being under the influence of steroids. So it wasn't his fault. It was the steroids fault. Well, I've taken steroids myself and it didn't turn me into a fucking psycho like this. So, um, anyway, so this guy is a, he's got a history of violence in, uh, yeah. So I would say, you know, in my opinion, this guy deserves a death sentence because for me that was attempted murder and the, the how she didn't die. I don't even know that it was crazy how she's still alive. So for me, uh, if, I had the, if I had the power there, I'd, I'd be going, yep. If this, if this guy had the firing squad, we don't. Need, do we need more dangerous people on the planet? Do we? Just chuck them in the firing squad. Any meth dealers, 
violent people like this, throw them and I wish to do Terate. If this was this in the Philippines, boom, this guy would be taken out by a village vigilante squad already by the Terate government. So I feel that America is far too lenient on people like this, and that's why they get away with it. They have lawyers to defend their actions when this is clear as day, caught on camera. The girl's not even de defending herself. This guy's like 100 something kilos, she's probably like 55 kilos or whatever. This is just, you know, this bullying. Um, this guy deserves, in my opinion, the death sentence. You know, same as Bill Crosby. Bill Crosby was uh, Bill Crosby. Bill Crosby or Cosby? Um, you know, guilty of rape. He deserves a death sentence as well. They give, they give Bill Crosby 10 years. Why would you spend 10 years of taxpayers' money give Bill Crosby a place in prison? Why, why should the taxpayer have to play for that? Death squad, you know, firing squad. Take it on. If you're a rapist or a murderer or attempt to murder someone, in my opinion, you deserve the death sentence. And people say, hey, well, what about, you know, you can't be that harsh, Harley. Like, what about if people, you know, fake an attempted murder or fake a rape? Well, those people who claim rape, they deserve death sentence as well. So put the same penalty as the, you know, as the offender, as the other person's going to lie about it. So if you're going to claim rape and you're lying about it, then you get the death sentence. And that way, that will you know, eliminate most of the fake rape claims. It'll eliminate most of the fake assault claims, etc. So if you have tried to kill someone, you know, in attempted murder, then that's, you know, and it's not defense here. This is not, this wasn't self-defense. This is like a, you know, some crazy dude. So, but again, steroids will get the blame for it. Uh, for me, that's unfair because a lot of people take steroids and they go crazy. Crazy people are just fucking crazy. If you give them steroids and alcohol, they're just more crazy. Alcohol is definitely a worse drug. Um, anyway, that's my thoughts and comments and opinions. I believe this guy deserves the death sentence. I deserve any, I believe any rapist or predator at that level deserves a death sentence and I feel the Philippines is got and Thailand even Thailand here if you're guilty of rape you most likely get death sentence and the Philippines definitely get death sentence so I think the Philippines is leading the world in terms of proper punishments for drug dealers people selling meth or stuff like that then you, you, get, you get a prison uh, so you don't, you, don't, you don't get a prison you get you get a death sentence and I think that's great like we just there's seven billion people on the planet do need any more Share your thoughts, comments, and criticisms down below. Now, I know this stuff gets some people rolled up. Yeah, that's why it's why hard to get any subscribers consistently. People subscribe to my cycling channel or the cycling content. Like, this is really good. Then they see a video like this. Oh, this is too hot, crazy, Harley. I'm just sharing my comments and criticisms here. I'm sharing believe what I believe. And I do get a lot of views over the years, 187 million views, because I do a wide variety of topics. So some people really don't like this content, but why click on it? So I give people everything. You know, I give you everything out there. So if you do have a grizzle about it, that's your option, that's your choice. Subscribe, unsubscribe, whatever. So I'm gonna keep you know, putting out the content that I feel is relevant to educating educating society, creating a better society. So there you go. That's my take on it. Duterte. Man, I can do Duterte. Do you know who President Duterte is? If you don't know who it is, Google up Filipino president and that the Filipinos love him, how he's just eradicating crime so well across the Philippines, like doing a really good job. And uh yeah, go to Davao City, super, super safe place. Yeah, super, super safe place. So it's, it's fantastic. There's not many places in the world where I'd feel confident sending a Natasha out in her, you know, sexy sports clothing and come back in one piece. But Davao City is one. Um, I don't think as many places in the USA would do that. To me, rapists and murderers that deserve the death sentence. Duterte, leave the charge.